Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and I'm here today to talk about the 65th Delmarva Chicken Festival. It's going to be June 20th and 21st at the 4-H Park in Centerville and it's 10 to 8 both days and here to give us some history and talk about some of the events that will be going on during the festival is Connie Parvis. She's with Delmarva Poultry Industry and welcome back Connie. We, we haven't seen you for the festival since 2009. It's so. good to be back Debbie. And, but mm. it's sad it's this is going to be the last year. This but This is the last festival so we want everybody to come and have a good time and especially enjoy some delicious chicken from that big fry that's, pan. That's the best part. So how did the festival come about? Tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about it. It was in 1948 that it all started and it was in Georgetown. That year there was a competition to develop a better meat type chicken. Oh, okay. Now prior to that time chicken was primarily grown as a source of eggs. Once the okay. chickens stopped laying eggs they were consumed. By then they were rather tough, rather old, and not much like the chicken <laughs> we know today. Right. <laughs> and so uh, the chicken was becoming more popular though, and uh, there was a, a move about the country to develop an industry to raise chicken for the purpose of meat. Okay. And it was felt that a new breed was needed. So breeders from all over the United States entered the competition. The finals were held in Georgetown. And uh, that had a connection because the University of Delaware has a research facility okay, there. Right. So people were coming from all over the country to bring their entries into this national competition. And uh, there was a group of people that were involved with the chicken industry locally. And it was a, a young, small industry at that time who said, we need to do something to welcome these people. They're coming from all over. We Makes want sense. to show them our Delmarva hospitality. So they put together what they called the Chicken of Tomorrow Festival. Okay. It was held on the circle in Georgetown. Oh, I know you're familiar with that <laughs> circle and the thoughts of a festival I've, being I've, held I'm like, there. oh geez. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it would not happen today. Right. But there was a parade, there was some food, and uh, that evening there were fireworks. Okay. And then there was a pageant to select uh, a Miss Delmarva. Now the finals for that were held in Easton, and I'm not exactly sure why okay. that wasn't done in Georgetown too, but there was a hatchery, I think, in Easton who was very involved with that at that time. And uh, so they, uh, the pageant was held there. Uh, the next year there was no Chicken of Tomorrow contest. But this group that put together this festival said, you know, that was a pretty good idea. We should do something <laughs> to promote our local industry each year. So right. the next year they moved the event to Salisbury. And the question was, what can we do in place of the Chicken of Tomorrow contest? And someone came up with the idea of a chicken cooking contest. Okay. And that became the forerunner of the National Chicken Cooking Contest. And here we are, 65 years later. Now, we no longer have a cooking contest as part of the event, but it did go on to become a very large national competition and uh, was discontinued just a few years ago. Now, you're talking about chicken cooking, and um, what I have to have you tell us about the big fry pan, because this is something to see, and uh, that's all I can say. It's something to see. It's huge, and all the fried chicken is cooked in it. Absolutely. In 1950, this was at the third Delmarva Chicken Festival, which was held in Dover, um, the fry pan made its first appearance. Mumford Sheet Metal is a business that operates still today mm -hmm. in Selbyville, Delaware. And they were very involved at that time with the chicken industry and with uh, providing services and supplies to the industry. And they decided that they would like to build a fry pan that could be used to promote chicken. Well, let me tell you, that fry pan has promoted a lot of chicken over its years. Yes. Tons and tons. We figure that at a normal two-day event that the fry pan will cook about four tons of chicken. Oh, geez. And That's four uh, tons. She said four, four tons. tons. <laughs> That's with a T, yes. And uh, it just, it is just 
delicious chicken. Now in 1988, that chicken or that fry pan had been used for about 38 years and it was beginning to wear a little That's thin in ask. spots. So we had to replace the original fry okay. pan with a duplicate. Same so size, 10 feet in diameter, eight foot handle, cooks about 160 pieces of chicken at one time. Mm. These are chicken quarters and um, it holds about uh, uh, well, well over a hundred uh, gallons of oil. Jeez. And um, the Farm Bureau uh, is actually the the group that's manning the fry pan and doing all the cooking this year. So they um, they they'll be in there, and they're probably looking for volunteers to help because you can have never have enough people to cook and to bread chicken. So. Right, and we have to also, I think, give some credit to those who are making this all possible. The chicken this year is being provided by Purdue. Right. Our, our poultry companies here alternate that uh, responsibility. Uh, the gas to cook the chicken, which is more than a normal home would use for cooking in a year, <laughs> a <little bit> more. <laughs> uh, is being provided by the Mid-Atlantic Propane Gas Association. The breading for the chicken is being donated by the English company and we've missed something. The, the oil. oil. The oil is coming <laughs> from DuPont Pioneer and in cooperation with Purdue Agribusiness and it is uh, a low oleastic or is it high? I've forgotten which way it's going now. But anyway, it's a healthier oil for okay. you uh, than uh, less saturated fats. So okay. it makes it a little bit better. And this is a new product that they have developed and are marketing. And uh, it will be used in the fry pan. Okay, great. And then some of the other things that are going on at the festival is you bring the baby chicks for oh, the, the kids to handle. Oh, the baby chicks, yes. They will be there. The children, anyone, adults too, because a lot of people have never actually seen a baby chick hatch. They can watch it hatch right before their eyes and there will be a petting pen with the baby right. chicks. That, uh, and those chicks at the end of the event will probably be the most photographed chicks in history. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And then I'm trying to make sure we get everything covered. We have a carnival. Um, so there'll be rides with that. Obviously there's other food but oh, yes. the only meat that's served is it's chicken. chicken. That's this right. is a chicken festival, but we'll have ice cream and right. we'll have uh, uh, all snow of the cones, other snow funnel cones cake. and funnel cakes. I'm trying to think of everything. Uh, the traditional festival foods will be there. We'll also have some educational displays and this year we'll focus heavily on history because it okay. is the 65th and it is the final Delmarva Chicken Festival. So we'll be taking a look back at some of the past festivals and we'll also be taking a look at the history of the poultry industry in this particular area, oh, the Talbots good. and Queen Anne's County area. Okay, we have entertainment both days um, uh, and just a whole bunch of different types of performers from an Elvis and Patsy Cline impersonators to Hot Tub Limo finishing out the festival on Saturday night. Um, what am I forgetting? Let me think. Arts um, and crafts. Arts and craft vendors, commercial, commercial vendors. vendors. Um, we have a petting Touch zoo. A truck. Touch I a truck. I really, I'm, I can't wait to see that. For that sounds such fun. For those of you that are, um, have been out to the Artisans Festival that's held out at the 4-H Park in the fall, the Rotary does a touch a truck and it's where the kids can actually get on all these different kinds of vehicles, buses, trucks, fire engines, you name it, they have it there. Um, I said the petting zoo. Snippy Doodles, Snippy doodles. Cascading Carlos, yep. the, uh, the, uh, Juggler. Juggler. And uh, it just a lot, and it's all free admission. I think that's the most important thing right. because you can bring the whole family, and for a really reasonable cost, you can have a fun day. Right. Something, and something we're doing that we didn't do when we had it here in 2009 is on Saturday, we are having a classic car show with the Ken Allen Cruisers, and we're also having a motorcycle show with the Christian Motorcycle Association, yes. um, and that's something that we didn't have last time and we have the opportunity to have this time. Um, and then you're probably wondering what is sitting here in front of us. This is Penny Henny. Um, we have some chickens. We have five four and a half foot tall chickens and nine of these small chickens that are going to be auctioned off on Saturday evening at 530 and they were given to us by the center at Salisbury from a chicken festival they had many years ago. Mm -hmm. And we've given them to the large ones to businesses and 
the small ones to different nonprofit organizations, and they're going to be auctioned off with the money going to the nonprofits, and the businesses that get the big chickens are actually going to be picking the nonprofit that will get the money from theirs. So lots of different things. And if Penny Henny is any example of what we're going to see, we're, that's going to be fun. This one was, and she was done by Character Counts, and we're just, we're tickled. She's the first one to come back. Um, all the chick, all the chickens will be on display. Um, all the chickens that are going to be auctioned are going to be on display at the visitor center down at Kent Narrows. Uh, starting the last week in May up until the week of the Chicken Festival, and then they all have to be moved out to the 4-H Park. So, again, this is June 20th and 21st. It's from 10 to 8, both days, at the 4-H Park in Centerville. And, Connie, thank you so much for coming in and giving us a little bit of history on the event and talking about all the stuff going on. Well, thank you, Debbie, and thanks to Queen Anne's County for inviting the Delmarva Chicken Festival back. Thank you.